No reason to beat up the rupees. <laughs> Those rupees have got it coming. <laughs> <Barely>. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Ozon and Eagle Eye Five. Well, at the end of the last episode, I was I was struggling to find the Yiga hideout here on the Great Plateau. It mm -hmm. took us a long time to figure out that it was the Great Plateau, and I and done, not the Colosseum. And not the Colosseum, right? I was convinced. I mean, look at that map. That okay? Gotta get to the map. <laughs> look at that map. That's a great map, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> So that looked like the Colosseum to me. I, I, I the understand. One in the center there. Now, yeah, the one in, thank you. Uh, I understand now the Colosseum is a much smaller scale than this map is. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was thinking of it like, um, you know, you see those city maps and they've got the landmarks that are blown mm -hmm. way out of proportion. That's kind of what I thought we were seeing here. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, I've been, I did some wandering around after we, we ended like at the, the, Shrine of Resurrection, and, and there was Yiga stuff there, but that wasn't it. Uh, I think, I think I've got it because I see some of these these little frogs with Yiga statues on them, and I got attacked by a Yiga person nearby. So uh, let's wander around, and hopefully, we can figure out what we need to figure out and be able to get in. Um, now, if I did say that there was something of some cultural significance, and so here I am, I'm like whatever this little plains is just south of the eastern abbey and a little southeast of go the... in what is that i don't know okay um i guess it's that i don't know but um offhand i don't know what the significance of this might be but there's a person and that is uh a good sign that we're in the right place i mean i take it so, I think the ring that you're seeing is that. Oh. I think that is. And that looks very Yiga-like. Okay. Oh, is that the old man's cabin? <laughs> okay, well, let's oh. talk. If that goes like this, then this happens. But then that has to be like this or, or else. Uh, I don't get it at all. Do you get it? Totally, man. I get it. <laughs> so it seems like that bit moves this way and does that. But then this one comes over here like that. So then this suddenly does this? Or so it seems at least. You know what I mean? Yep, we are on the same mm -hmm. page. I know exactly what you mean. What do you mean, indeed? There's no way you understand, you, you intellectual charlatan. Master Koga, I shall purge the world of this meddlesome something or other. Nuisance. <laughs> Nuisance. Oh, he got me. Ah, uh, Minoru got you. <laughs> and then Sidon got you. Yay! Yay. Or was that, uh, what's her face? I don't know. Okay, well, another Yiga attack. So... I mean, I've had Yiga attacks in the other areas before. Yeah. The, yeah, I'm going to go for these summer wings. Ah. Uh, there nice. you go. <laughs> and all you get is a chicken, chicken tree nut. Tree nut. Anyway, nut. I think I need the summer wings for upgrading some piece of gear. But, yeah, we never, we never came to the old man's log cabin and I don't see a way in I mean yet yet mm -hmm. oh. ah. yes yes Banana. I figured there had to be some around. Banana. Where did we? We had some others. It was in the uh, Faron region, uh, where we saw these guys. But that's the you know the jungly area. 
And so that's when I put bananas in those. But, uh, and it wasn't specifically associated with Yiga, as far as I know. Ah. Oh. But, all right. Yay. Hey, everybody get out of my Perfect. way. Thank you. Don't, Did we don't, get some toasted bananas, I think? Poke yourself. Well, looks like that might, that gives me an idea for how to get in there. Because I thought, he caught some of, the, some of them on fire. I don't think they're gone, though. No, it was just the grass around the outside. I think you might have to climb up on these things and then just fly over? Question mark? There you go. No, just now, just walk, walk around. You can walk in. There's a door. Stop right here. There's a. There's two doors. Well. All right. Yeah, definitely, definitely in the right place. I think I want to ready a different weapon. Ye old master sword. Sure. Who's there? Wait, you. Sure. You're Link. I thought you did, ambitious. Did did you? Well, something or other. It was like, did you think you were gonna ambush yeah. us? <laughs> okay. No reason to beat up the rupees. <laughs> Those rupees have got it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I won't say that was easy, but it wasn't hard. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go! It's another fashion person. <laughs> I'm working as fast as I can. Please, just give me a little more time. Wait. You're not one of them. Ah. You chased off the Yiga clan? You mean, I can get out of here? Ah. Hurrah! Those Yiga guys were forcing me to make weird outfits for them. It was <laughs> awful. Why me? Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe because of my reputation for flashy fashion. I only let CC brand threads touch this body. Hmm. I didn't want this mask. I'm, I made to fall... I didn't want this mask I made to fall into their hands, but I can't bring it with me. Ah. Say, would you want to take this? Do, 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 do. We got the whole oh. thing. Yay. The thing is decidedly not my style. Um, but if it's yours, more power to you. I'm actually dressed like this so that I can confess my feelings to the woman who stole my heart. Aww. Her name is Nobo. She's beautiful with a fashion sense that rivals my own. She's probably at a stable somewhere, I think. Maybe. Oh. At any rate, we're meant to be. So I knew. So I know that fate will guide me toward her. Take care now. I hope you find some to let someone to love too. I have. Aww. Aww. And so did Link, but now she's a dragon. Yeah. All right. What do we got here? Want me to? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Eager bulletin. Confidential updates from the hideout. Item one, the research division has developed new vehicles, the Gloom Dredger, Dredger and Hover Droom Mark III. If one of these vehicles is damaged, please contact a member of the research division in the depths right away. Item two, it is imperative that all espionage agents in the field learn the earthquake technique. Addendum, the earthquake technique, earthquake. Earthquake technique can only be learned at the hideout's training area. Okay, well that's cool. So what do you think, should we go there now? suit up yeah we've got all the all the hideouts and we know where Yay. the stronghold is I, or I guess we've got the outposts and we know where the hideout is huh look at the drawing yeah they, they've been on a, several of the other places let's see we jumped into the tower here and flew down there So 
So, oh, now, yeah, the significance. That's the old man's cabin. That's mm -hmm. that's the significance. Yep, that was the uh, significant place. And I place of significance. I don't think that we ever had gone there in our while no. we were running around the Great Plateau. No, we haven't. Oh, we don't. Um, that doesn't. That that's not the one that takes us <laughs> up. <laughs> nope. That's not the one we're going to. Not. No. Uh, we are going to right here. So I'm going to go for that hole. little hole okay but it's really kind of more up that way yeah I'm yeah. freezing oh it's dragon music mm-hmm I, oh, I already I'm already wearing that but oh well actually I probably should wear my Rito here where is the dragon Gotta which dragon up. are we seeing I don't see any dragon anywhere. Nope. It's gone. Are you going for this? No, the the, the hideout hole mm -hmm. stays right there. Actually, I should have been using my gliding mask, not the Rito one. Going for this little hole here. Yeah. Yep. I wonder if the dragon was going down the one of the the chasms. Oh, there is a chasm there. Yeah, that's the back door. That's the, You need okay. to go to the front door. Well, that didn't go so well. Okay, I'm just trying to go to the place on my map. I guess I... I don't know. I'm all confused. That's why I thought you were going for the... The big circle. But this will be the front door here. If you just drop down here. Yep. Uh, there's things around, and I was looking to see what they were. Ooh. Thankfully, you didn't land on one of those wires and split your legs. That would have been painful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would have been. <laughs> All right. We are fully decked out in Yiga gear now. I'm going to do a little quick eat, because we're probably going to be fighting something when we yes. get in there. I would say that would be a good assumption. Oh, uh, I'm kind of. I'm going to have to cook food. soon. For, yeah, I'm going to have to cook soon. Yeah. All right. Mm. All right, come in. Yay! What if we should have gone to the other one first? Mm hmm. A torch. I'm so assuming we're supposed to talk to that guy. Mm -hmm. I would assume so. That brand new gear. I'd heard talk of a potential new member. I'll take it that's you. I can hardly believe how quickly you managed to visit all three branches. Mm. Impressive, to say the least. This hideout is the linchpin of the Yiga clan's subterranean expansion. It's where we train our members, develop our special vehicles, and do whatever else needs doing. That's it for explanation. You'll figure things out if you keep your eyes open. Okay. Well, I need to learn... learn the uh, technique. <laughs> Just couldn't resist, could you? You may be young, but you know quality. A true banana man, I see. <laughs> I don't think I have anything I want to sell, so. 
we'll just leave it at that. Gotta restock. Need some bananas to offer up to Master Koga. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> He's not dead. He's, He's dead. Well, there's nothing back here. And if he's not dead yet, he soon will be. But I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. This we is the all... sneaky area. Remember we had to sneak you through here in the last game? We had to let... Oh, there's, there's a, chest a chest in there. In there. Yep. And it looks like a blow up of a wall. Doesn't that look like a bomb of a wall? Mm, sort of. But there's definitely a much bigger area, so let's keep, let's go back and try to focus on the main area. Mm-hmm. Keep visiting all of these peoples. We Burn can... it. Burn it to the ground! I have a feeling that will, they will not like that. Don't care. Burn it to the ground! <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, there's a, a secret area with a chest. I'm surprised. Eh. I'm surprised they didn't get more mad at that, honestly. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Oh, buy a duplex bow and arrows? Fine. Oh, Yiga parts? Spiky. <laughs> How I love my little spikes. There's something so deliciously dangerous about having them around. Hey, jerk. Anyone ever tell you it's rude to stare? Don't tell me you're here to get some spikes of your very own. Yeah, I'm spike shopping. I just restocked my spikes. My, sp my spiky, spiky babies. babies, too. But I guess they are for sale, so I can't really stop you. Hand over a hundred rupees. So, how are we going to do this, I wonder? Do you think it'll it'll just like pop out here on the ground, or are we going to get a bubble? No, we're not going to get a bubble. It's going to be like the thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how cute. You're too scared to embrace the spikes. Yeah. It's something that you can fasten to one of your weapons. And, or Minoru. Yeah. No, Minoru isn't in here. Uh, you're what, right. Was those the eight, eightfold blades? Yeah, and the, the Yiga Master blades. Ah. Eightfold long blade and the eightfold blade. Okay. So, I, I, I get enough of those. Yeah. It's interesting. They give you a torch so that you can... Burn, burn that down. thing down, apparently. <laughs> Do you want to break open the barrels? I suppose. <laughs> or just throw them. Perfect. That's not going to make it harder to open it. No. Nope. Oops. Not hard to open it at all. No. <laughs> okay. Arrow. Yep, not much. Okay, so this is going to lead us into the hideout. Yes. This is Part where we need of to it. go. And then... I mean, I went the long way around, but... We'll figure out how to get in what there. What are all those things on the wall there? They sure are glowy. Yeah, they are. I, I don't really know. I mean, they are really bright compared to everything else in here. Yeah. But I don't know. Oh, my hot weather attack up. So I feel like we might be... Oh, it's saving. I don't know what we're getting into. Ah. Let's talk to you, dude. Next, I'll just mount this tire here and fix it real tight so it won't come off. Huh? Hey, 
Can you just stop looming? I can't focus if you're just standing there all silently. Can't you see the depths team left me an armored vehicle fix? Oh. Huh? You're interested in this raging roadster? My fiendish armor clad masterwork? The gloom dredger? Yeah, I want that. Mm. If you really won't take no for an answer, I could sell you one for 999 <laughs> rupees. But if word gets around that I sold one to some random Yiga mas member, it'll be so long reputation for me. Okay. Yeah. If, if we do the hand, if we do the handover outside. Yeah. No. I'm. I like my rupees. Then get lost, wasting my time again, and I'll mount you to the front of one of these. Gee, I wanted the schematic. That's what I wanted out of it. <laughs> All right. Well. Moving on in. There's more of these things. Moving on up. Me. Okay, so there's another dude here. He's gonna sell the other kind. Between that tasteless groom dredger, gloom dredger over there, and this hover doom MK3, which do you think is more beautiful? Oh, the hover doom. Clearly. <laughs> Easiest question you'll ever answer. This Hover Doom MK3 is a whole different beast from that all show number over there. Simplicity with a dash of recklessness. Now that's how you craft a dangerous weapon. A lot of pauses. <laughs> how about it? You've a dash of recklessness in yourself, so I'll tell you one of one brand new for just 99 rupees. Well, it's a much better deal. I just don't know how we'd get it out of here. There's a steering stick over there, but... Oh, there's a ball for wall. Ah. Just don't let it slip that I sold one to some rank and file Giga member, okay? That'd lead to some awkward conversations. You good if we do the handover outside? Yeah, no. I picked the wrong person to ask. I, we don't, we can make it. Oh, well, what do we have here? Well, we don't have Boulder Boy or Minaruda. You have bombs in your pocket. That's fire. That was an arrow too, and that's... And it's another one. And hey. another one. Wow. I mean, I guess I do have the rock hammer. <laughs> it's going to take you a while and go sneak through. Wow. There's a lot. Might as well use up the rock hammer. That's what I got it for. Helpful. Yep. I wasn't sure we'd get a lot of gems from these like the other things, but I guess all of them would not have it possible. One down. One to go. Just go. You're right. More... Stop. Turn around and look at that hole. That does look weird. There's... There's something in there. But I couldn't grab it. But you're right. Yeah. There is something in there. Yeah. That Might is be weird. be something you can get around the other way. Maybe. I mean, we're, we're, we're always one for a good distraction. Yeah. Because we're not doing anything with the Yiga hideout at the moment. I wonder what happened if I would suddenly, you know... Well, this might be where... Yeah, this is the inside. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. 
I was thinking the the rock wall, this is where it leads. So we aren't so, supposed to get in to go through the rock wall. We're supposed to go through the rock wall to get in. Yeah, we're supposed to go through the rock wall to get in. Now I'm just seeing if there's any other <laughs> gems. <laughs> uh, not seeing anything. Because I'm not particularly, you know, precious with this hammer. <laughs> well, but still, I would say what? it's not a bombable wall, but I still say you need to go and check out that one little area around the corner. That one little hole in the in the tunnel. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, don't use up your hammer entirely yet. Okay, so there is the crack, but there's nothing that we can do with it. I think that's can just supposed to show you that there is a tunnel back there. Yeah. Basically, can you sneak in? No. No, that's much too small. Okay, worth a try. Yeah, so we, we, we bypassed that. We're supposed to see that there's a chest there. We're supposed to see that this is breakable, but we can't get through it. But there's something back there. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to tell us to keep looking for a breakable wall. Yeah, but there's also bubble frogs in caves. Yeah, but that didn't give us a name of a cave. So I don't think that's technically a cave. Well, then why would there be the, the, the cubby on the inside of, what are you doing? Use the ladder. That's I missed. There for. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. You're not allowed to miss. Okay, so there's a blade master up there. Okay, so here we got s something. Just one banana this time? The Thunderhelm has been passed down from one Gerudo chief to the next for generations. Though we were briefly able to steal this electric shock repelling helm, it was quickly retaken. We had mistaken their chief's youth for naivety and paid the price for it in turn. Michaela Riju is not to be taken lightly. Though our time in the, with the Thunderhelm was brief, we did manage to complete a thorough analysis of it. Finding lightning resistant materials was no small feat. But I suppose that makes sense for the Gerudo Sacred Heirloom. Even with the metals and gems in hand, however, we cannot seem to replicate the technique used to craft it. I've been struck by lightning more times than I can count. I felt my soul flicker on the boundary between life and death. Just as my body neared its limits, one of our intelligence offers, officers shared some promising news. While disguised as a traveler, he hit off with a fledgling tailor and learned about a special stitching technique. We applied that technique to our own helm and for the first time, it repelled lightning. Our lightning helm was born. Just as the Gerudo sacred heirloom was said to be selective about its users, so too is our lightning helm. Our inconsistent results were not merely technological, but contingent on the helm's compatibility with its user. Though I had hoped to train someone to wear the helm, the many electric shocks I've suffered have taken their toll. My body is at its end, and my chance to name my successor is long past. Though I could not make out one, I leave this world dreaming. Though I could, though I could make on, though I could make only one, I leave this world dreaming of the day that a member of our clan dons the lightning helm, and at long last brings the royal family of Hyrule to ruin. Interesting. Well, I suppose that's what we're supposed to find here, is the lightning helm. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah? Uh. What? Oh. I don't think that goes anywhere. No. Just lets you look around. Yeah. So, I don't know what's in here. I mean, there's a dude up there, and there's an arrow. Shoot the target? Well, I mean, we're... Oh, 
Oh, I can't get that. <laughs> no, okay. I was trying to find a way to get up there, and maybe that's the, the task, the challenge. Arrow, or ladder. Because I kind of want to, I feel like we're going to be able to learn the thunder wake technique, you know? Mm-hmm. And there's a, yes, I'm going away from the, the guy. Because there's, I feel like there's something important down here. Okay. Spikies. Yeah. Okay. Can't break them. <laughs> but it tells me that you need to climb over climb? there. Yeah. Well, let's wander on over and talk to this guy. Okay. Link must fall. Oh. So, you're the newcomer, huh? This is where we train. There's the lightning helm, too. Mm -hmm. Zelda's disappearance robbed Hyrule of its spirit, which gives us the perfect opportunity to bring it to its knees. Uh... The only problem is her stubborn little appointed swordsman, Link. We've received reports that he still lives. I hate to admit it, but he's a formidable foe. We'll all need to hone our skills if we hope to take him down. Ah. Uh... If you value your life, then you should do some training yourself. Prove you've got what it takes. Ah. Oh. And you might even earn our precious lightning helm. It's our sacred treasure, completely resistant to electricity. But because it's such a powerful piece of armor, it can only be handled by those who have properly who have been properly trained. Oh. We train by sparring with our fellow Yiga. We set a timer, and the combatants just keep coming. You'll earn better and better prizes based on the number of opponents you defeat. Ah. Let's see, if we really want to measure your strength, show me you can defeat three combatants in under one minute. The training fee <laughs> is typically 100 rupees, but since you're new to this, I suppose your first round can be free. I know that you should take this challenge, but there's no turning back. No, that you should take that should. Yeah, really. Jeez, easy for me to say. <laughs> no, that should you take this challenge, there is no turning back. You must fight until the time limit or your life expires. Well, we can do one, I think. Okay. We've got a minute. Mm. I like your oh. spirit. Then let's start the training. All hands, prepare for combat. Ah. Uh. Attack the newcomer as if he were Link himself. For Master Koga. I need a good weapon. <laughs> and I don't think I want to use the Master Sword. Okay. Good choice. Oh, that's a slow one hit, two handed one. <laughs> they did oh. let me fight for the minute. Enough. You need a one handed weapon. I do, yeah. Mm. Oh. I'm impressed you're still standing. You defeated you defeated three of our fighters, just as I hoped you would. Not bad for a newcomer, I suppose. Oh. Take this. You've earned it. Ah, you get fabric. Neat. Interesting. Okay. Watching you fight, it seems like you could take down six Yiga members next. Oh. If you want to train again, let me know. And don't forget the hundred rupees. <laughs> Well, not this time. Not right now. This has been very interesting, but I think this is the end of the episode. We got our out of time. Aww. I know. 
I know. Um, do we do another one? We'll figure that out when we do the next episode, I suppose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this was fun. This was definitely um, a lot more interesting and a lot less fighting than I anticipated. Yeah. Um, I, I, I bet if I take off the thing, it would just all come at me. But, yeah, you know. This, this has been interesting. Yeah, it has. So, all right. Well, until the next episode, remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>